In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can publish shifts, how we can unpublish them and make changes to them after they've been published. So there's two ways to publish a shift and send the employee a notification. One is to pick a shift individually and publish it by clicking on a tile, clicking the publish checkbox at the bottom and clicking save. You'll notice that the amber coloured pencil icon now becomes a checkbox. That's to say that the shift has been published and also because this one's before the date that I'm actually recording this video, it's automatically approved it. If I did the same thing here on the Friday and I click published, that represents that the employer has been sent the notification to let them know about the shift, but they haven't accepted or declined that shift yet. If you'd like to publish your shifts in bulk, you can use the buttons up the top here to publish and unpublish shifts. You can press the publish shift and that'll send the shifts notifications out to each of the employees. Employees can receive either an SMS or an email and if they're using the WorkZone application which is available for iOS and Android, they'll also receive a push notification on their phone. Once you've published shifts, the shifts become read-only in the roster. If you'd like to make subsequent changes to an existing shift that's published, you can either unpublish all the shifts in bulk, or to make changes to an individual shift, you click on that shift tile, go to the bottom, and press save. You see notifications to let you know that the shift's already been published on that screen. Click save, and the status of that shift goes back to unpublished. Make the changes and then you can republish the shift again. It's worth checking with your payroll administrator as to whether your employees accept or reject shifts once they've been published. If the accept and reject features have been turned on, you can receive notifications each day to let you know when A, shifts have been declined and B, let you know which ones are pending and which ones need to be actioned so you can follow up employees if you need to. To do that, you can click on your name in the top right corner of the screen and click on My Notifications. Select the business if you do have multiple businesses. Choose the option to say email me when the employee that I supervise declines a rostered shift. You can also be reminded when an employee is unavailable to work. And there are also settings for a daily reminder email. Within here, you can set the day that you receive the email. And make sure that this box that says including pending shifts is one of the options that's chosen. That'll give you a daily reminder email to say what shifts have been pending and what requires action. Once you're happy with those, click save. And that's how we publish and unpublish our roster. In the next video, we look at how we can print a roster 